friends, welcome to another chapter of Read Aloud. Today we will be reading chapter 11. And your thinking question is simply, how would you feel if you were Arella in this chapter? And let's get started. Chapter 11, That Lying Queen of Dovis. You're what? Arella gasped, staring up at her birth mother in confusion. She had so many emotions warring with each other. She couldn't even process how she felt. I thought you were dead. Mavic, you told me she was dead. Why would you lie to me? I wasn't lying. I thought, trust me, I'm just as shocked as you. Mavic's eyes were big and glassy, and his cheeks were flushed. I didn't think she'd actually answer. I honestly thought she died. But then I realized that I never actually saw it happen, because I ran away after they stabbed Morton. It was so long ago, and my memory's really foggy. Plus, it's not exactly a night I wanted to remember. Arella's head was spinning, and she looked unsteady on her feet. Maybe we should all take a seat and have a little chat, Marella suggested. A little chat? Arella asked incredulously. Ella, oh, calm down, frowned Mavic. I'm sure she'll answer your questions if you give her a chance to explain. Arella nodded and sat down in the armchair. Marella and Mavic sat on the couch. Mavic stared at her in wonder as if he was seeing a ghost. Marella took a deep breath. She was so overcome with emotion that she had trouble speaking, but eventually she found her voice. The reason Mavic called me sir was because I was disguised. You obviously were able to see through it because you're a witch. I don't know what you know about the night Queen Heletica came for us, but I escaped. I've been in hiding these past twelve years. I recently heard rumors about you all the way from Hemlock and was already on my way when I got Mavic's message. Mavic interrupted. What were you doing in Hemlock of all places? I thought you'd be in Rashtika or hiding someplace inconspicuous. That's a really long story, she sighed. Her face seemed to age ten years. Well, I think we deserve to hear it, Arella said. She hadn't meant to sound so rude, but it was just so much to process. Marella was obviously a wonderful person from what Mavic had said, but she was a complete stranger to Arella, and all of a sudden she was expected to see her as a mother. First, I just need to know something. Marella's eyes filled with tears again. Arella, have you been living at the orphanage, or... I have parents, she said quickly. Oh, thank goodness. Silent tears fell down her face as Marella brightened with relief. That was always my biggest worry, other than people discovering you're a witch. I'm so happy for you. Arella simply stared at her, not sure what to make of any of this. Marella turned toward Mavic. He gave her a half-smile. You're looking at the oldest orphan in Lennox. Her face fell again. Oh, Mavic, I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry, you kidding me? I'm the king of the orphanage. It's like having an army of annoying little minions. Marella gave him a sad smile. I'm sure you're the best king the orphanage could have. Of course I am, he grinned. I'm sorry, but I'm still confused, interjected Arella. Mavic, if you suspected she was alive, why did you wait until now to check? It's like I said, I thought they'd killed her. Why else wouldn't she come back for us? I mean, come back for you. I always wondered, but it's not like I had any way of checking. And then I found that book when we got here, and as soon as I learned how to send messages, I just had to send one to Morella and find out if she was alive. Mavic, I will never be able to repay you for saving Arella. Marella said through tears of gratitude. Okay, okay, so do you mind telling us where you've been? Arella interrupted again. I mean, I'm sorry. I already have a mom, and I love her, but it might be nice to know why you left and never came back. She bit her lip as the rudeness tumbled out once more. Perhaps it was that she was already sensitive about her mother because she missed her so much, and now this woman seemed to be wanting to take her place. Marella scratched her ear. I've been a little busy ruling Dovis. Arella and Mavic looked at each other, then said together, What? 
Morella sighed. The day I escaped, I intended to go back for both of you and take you to Rashtika with me. But I couldn't go back. The enforcement officers were already on my tail, and if I went back for you, I would have exposed you and gotten us all captured. As much as it hurt me to go, I knew you'd be safer without me and would be well taken care of at the orphanage. I traveled through the forest and intended to go around Hemlock to Rashtika, but I fell ill. I was weak, and if I hadn't stopped, I probably would have died. So I got a job at the palace until I saved up enough money for some food and a place to rest while I recuperated. You got a job at the palace? Mavic asked incredulously. But that's suicide! Exactly. No one would ever suspect a witch to seek employment at the palace. It was the perfect cover. Mavic grinned. That's genius! So you've been working there the whole time as like a maid or something? No, not quite. It started out that way, but I got myself into a situation. You see, I don't know how the queen never saw it coming, being a witch herself, but King Slathgar never intended to let her survive. He wanted all the witches wiped out, including her. I found myself right outside the royal bedchamber when I heard a scream. I ran inside without thinking about how a servant could be killed for that. The door swung open just as I watched the king stab his wife to death. Arella and Mavic stared at her. But that doesn't make sense, Arella said. Yeah, we'd have heard if the queen died, said Mavic. It would have been proclaimed throughout the kingdom. Well, no one found out about it, Morella said. Arella snorted. That's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure people would take notice once the queen just disappeared. Well, as far as anyone but us knows, she didn't disappear. She's been running the kingdom alongside King Slathgar as she always has, Morella said. Mavic and Arella just stared at her. Was she crazy? This woman was making no sense. She walks in on the king killing the queen and claims the queen never died? Suddenly, Mavic sucked in a breath. What? Arella asked. Morella, are you crazy? Probably, she sighed. Can someone please explain to me what is happening? Arella demanded. Well, it's simple, Elf, Mavic said in awe. Morella's been impersonating the queen these past twelve years. Arella scowled. What a stupid theory, she thought. It's true, Morella confirmed. How? Arella asked. And why? I'd have been killed if I didn't do something. So I manipulated him into knocking himself out while I took care of the queen's body. Then I realized that the king would soon wake up and find that her body had disappeared. So I ran back to the royal bedchamber and disguised myself as the queen. I did a quick memory spell so that he wouldn't remember killing her. Wait, you can alter someone's memory? Arella asked. It's a very difficult, very dangerous spell, but yes, it's possible. Just then, some guards came by, asking for an audience with the king. He needed to counsel with them on an issue. I told them that he was ill, and that with his permission, I, as the queen, would be counseling with them in his stead. It turned out that the issue was over whether or not to end the witch hunt. I was able to influence them to put a stop to it by assuring them that there were no more witches in Dovis. If I hadn't, they would have continued killing innocents, and I couldn't let that happen. So, was that a lie? Are there still some witches left? Mavic asked. I very much doubt it. A witch would be crazy not to have fled to Rashtika. But that didn't stop guards and enforcement officers from rounding up potential witches and sending them to the gallows without proof. I had to put a stop to it. By the end of the meeting, I was tempted to flee. But I'd seen what influence I could have as queen, so I stayed. The king is a madman, and I've taken it upon myself to make sure that the kingdom doesn't fall to anarchy, as it surely would if he were left to his own devices. Arella just stared at her, waiting for her to start laughing and say, You're so gullible! I'm actually just a crazy homeless lady who wants to steal your food. But Marella wasn't laughing. So, Mavic said, You're the queen of Dovis. More or less. Marilla said with a wan smile. Dang. Hold on a minute, Arella said. 
can you keep your spells going while you're sleeping? Because I tried that once and my disguise was gone by morning. No, no witch can. Our energy comes from our minds. We need to be concentrating to keep it going. Once we fall asleep, the spell loses its hold. So wouldn't the king remember by now that he killed his wife? Yes, I have to recast the spell every single morning, along with my disguise. And do you expect to be back in Hemlock by tomorrow morning? No, I figured I would be gone for several days, so I poisoned him. You killed the king of Dovis? gasped Arella and Mavic. No, of course not. It's a very mild poison that just makes a person ill enough to be bedridden for a few days. It also makes them delirious, so if he starts talking about killing the queen, the servants will just assume he's spouting nonsense. If I didn't know you so well, I might be a little scared of you, Mavic admitted. I know, Morella moaned, putting her head in her hands. I've done some awful things. More like awesome things, Mavic grinned. They should make plays about you and sing songs about you in bars. You make my wanted poster look like a kitty drawing. Arella rolled her eyes. Mavic, you are such an idiot. Hey, I'm still not done being mad at you for having a cooler poster than me. Why do you get to be wanted dead or alive? Mavic, you seriously think being wanted by the crown is cool? If by cool you mean amazing and dangerous and awesome, then yeah, I think it's way cool. And if I do say so myself... I think they captured my manly eyebrows quite nicely. Arella scowled at him and threw one of his misshapen paper animals at his head. He simply held his hand in the air and froze it in its path. Then he made a quick spinning hand gesture and it flew back and hit Arella in the face. Mavic chuckled loudly. Arella gave him a murderous glare, then jumped on top of him and shoved his head into the couch. He tickled her until she couldn't breathe from laughing and held her hands up in surrender. Morella simply watched them with a small smile on her face. You two have taken to each other while I've been away, she noted. Yeah, well, Arella's a crazy little witch that needs constant supervision, Mavic said. Can't even let a guy get into a good fight without intervening. Mavic, you snot, Arella argued. Those guys were gonna kill you. Have you seen my biceps? he countered. Yeah, well, Mavic's an obnoxious little boy who likes to pretend that he's tough, Arella said to Morella. But he carries around his wanted poster and caresses it when he sleeps. Not true. But even if I did, who could blame anyone for wanting to caress my face? Arella snorted, and for the first time since she'd met her, she heard the radiant sound of Morella's laugh. It sounded like music. And then she opened her mouth, and the music ended. All right. It's time to prepare. I will get you to safety no matter how perilous the journey, no matter how many people have died along the way, no matter how inexperienced and frightened you may be. Um, Morella, you're not exactly selling this, Mavic frowned. Morella turned pink. I'm sorry, I'm used to giving these kinds of speeches. Forget what I said about the danger and dying. Um, let's go, kiddos. Mavic laughed. We're also not babies. You may not be three years old anymore, but I am still the queen, and I definitely have the authority to put you in time out. Is that what you want? Mavic grinned. I missed you so much. All right, that's the end of that chapter. The next chapter is chapter 12, and it is called The Carriage and Plan Fall Apart. All right, thanks again for joining in on this chapter of Arella the Witch. Reminder, your thinking question is, how would you feel if you were Arella in this chapter? So keep in mind what must be going through her head. You know, she has parents, adopted parents, that she loves very much. And now this woman shows up, who is the woman that gave birth to her. And it turns out she's been hiding as the Queen of Dovis all this time. So how would you feel if you were Arella and all this stuff was happening to you? All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh man, the thing's in the way. Where is my face? What is happening? There. Phew. 
thought you were dead. Mavic told me... Mavic... Oh my goodness gracious. You're so gullible. I'm actually just a crazy homeless lady who wants to steal your food. Not true. But even if I did, who could blame anyone for wanting to caress my face? <laughs> Where's my face? Oh my gosh, seriously, why does it keep hiding my face? I don't understand. What's happening? Camera settings. Live camera. There. Eek. Maybe I shouldn't have my face showing. Okay. <laughs>